Okay, I'm outside the uh, Amrine House in Lucerne, and I'm going to take you inside. Here's the uh, the front, <laughs> and here's the signage for the exhibition, Jack Kirby, the house that Jack built. And I'm going to take you inside. I'm not going to talk all the time. Let's have a look inside. Here's the Jack Kirby exhibition on the ground floor. Here we go into room one with the introduction. With photographs of Kirby through the years. And this beautiful collage by Tom Morehouse of all of the characters that Jack Kirby created. There we go. Around the corner here, we've got. Uh, a photograph of when Jack was very young, just as a baby. And then we're showing here the in print form, the complete street code with Kirby's original hand lettering provided by the Kirby Museum, including this, of course, famous double page spread from his childhood. And then around the corner here, we come to his time in the army. And these beautiful drawings are two sketches on either side of the same sheet of paper showing two of the uh, GIs in the same uh, company as him in the army. And then here, again from the Kobe Museum, a sequence of five letters. Four of them are V-mail, and this one is actually an original letter, a reproduction, I should say, of a full-scale letter with a drawing from, by Kirby in the middle of the war in '44. And then two more from later on when he's three more here later on when he was confined to bed due to frostbite. And that's that. And then to explain as we move around the room here <laughs> to this sequence, we're showing people uh, pages, unfinished pages, part penciled, only partly inked from True Life Divorce uh, from 1971. These are pages which Coletta began to ink, but it allows the public to see the process, how Kirby's pencils are turned into the ink artwork. And we want to make people understand that when they see finished artwork, that it's Kirby's pencils. And of course, sometimes it's his own inks, but mostly other people's inks that appear on top. Okay, so that's room number one. And then if we come back into the corridor. There we go. Lovely big blow up here of the human torch. And then we go into room two. Right, now in room two we go through some of the amazing Golden Age material. And in particular here, these amazing images, which may not come out terribly clearly, from the boy commandos. These are character sketches prepared by Kirby for the studio to continue the series while he was serving in the army. They're from around 44. These apparently are later, from around 47, 48. Excuse the reflections. Um, and these are drawings that were done with new themes like science fiction and cowboys. And here's um, the Boy Commander's cover with perhaps the first time that uh, Jack Kirby was able to, was drawing a Superman figure. Okay, so we have more here of these beautiful Golden Age covers. Stuntman. And here, this is the image that's been used for the print. And this is a complete seven-page fighting American story on the walls. And as you can see, a lot of interest. Great turnout from the public. People are loving this work. Uh, and on this wall we have a whole bunch of different genres. We have the romance genre, black magic, horror, including an unfinished, unused splash page and Western with Bullseye. <coughs> and on the final wall over here, uh, we have Crime, with Police Trap, Foxhole, that's of course the war genre, an unused cover, and Comedy, From Here to Insanity, and a final Western. Okay, so that's the ground floor, takes us through to the, to the mid-50s or so. Okay, back in a bit.